All right, man, so look, we're back at again with another crazy video for y'all. Now, before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. I'm doing y'all a favor by reacting to the video, so I need y'all to do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. All links are in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get into the video, man. Black Lives Matter is fun by the White House, ma'am by Obama George Soros. What about the people who are marching for black lives? All lives matter. Number one, all lives matter. Okay? God made us Bro, we already we already 16 seconds in the video. We already 16 seconds. This black man already speaking facts. Matter. Number one, all lives matter. Okay? God made us all. God made us all. All lives matter. God made God made us up, man. The, all right, all right, come on. Right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. It's just like, no, he already speaking facts. I mean, he already speaking facts. So if you want to separate yourself and put yourself on a platform about black life, but what about that yellow man? What about that orange person? What about uh. that purple person? What about them? The claim of the Black Lives Matter is that African Americans are sort of kind of targeted. They get more killed. Uh, hold on a second. Black, the most, this is what's gonna, this is what happens in black uh, neighborhoods. It's black on black. It's black on black what kills these young youths in their neighborhoods. The, the, the Democratic Party has owned the black neighborhoods for over 60, 70 years. Look at them. Look at, and they give us, give you a black president who's a Muslim. He is, he supports radical Islam. From the White House, they the ones who created ISIS. Look at their policy. Bro, 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 he ain't. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Drop the headphones, man. What? What? Name another black man speaking facts like this, bro, besides me. Besides me. Name another one, bro. Oh, my gosh. I mean, dog. What, bro? We're literally one minute and twenty-two seconds of man speaking facts. Black lives matter, bro. It's not just about black lives matter. Like, yes, we agree, black lives matter. But come on, man, we we agree to all lives matter because I can't just when you put one when you put one uh, specific race in front of lives matter, that's when it becomes like, come on now, like you only saying that this lives matter. What about everybody else's lives? You feel me? And this man is speaking straight facts. I've been saying this in my videos for Lord knows how long. You feel me? Like, I always preach this because, bro, I want the black people, I want black people to realize that, bro, yes, our lives do matter, but also white lives, Mexican lives, Hispanic lives, everybody lives matter. You feel me? We are all made under God. God has all, God has made us in his image. Simple as that. God has created us. We are all, we are all the same because we all bleed the same. That's it. I say that all the time. I mean, we all bleed the same. So, we're no different. You feel me? We're no different. We only different because of our personality, the, the the color of our skin. I guess you could say the color of our skin. That's the only reason why we become different. Other than that, we all bleed the same, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I, the whole black Black Lives Matter thing. I mean, bro, this man is speaking straight facts. Straight facts, dog. <laughs> Look at their policies. And I like how he said the black on black crime. Like a lot of people, they don't, every time you say black on black crime, they always have an excuse. It's not no excuse. In a black community, what is it? Literally, black people killing black people. I mean, how, what more do y'all want? You can go to the, statist uh, the statistics. You can show everything, anything you can show that shows that more black people are killing black people. You feel me? It's more black on black crime than it is a white person killing a black person. You can go to anything. You can look it all up, bro. It's all there. The numbers is there. The numbers don't lie. You can look it all up. <sighs> Uh, can I ask you a question? Yes. Why is it that every black person I know, every black parent I know, yes. who I live in a neighborhood with, has to give their children a special instruction for what they should do and not do when they go out so that they don't get stopped by the police? Right. That's what, they, that's what they should but, teach them. That's what they're teaching them. But that, that's, they're, they're not teaching them that. But this, they're, they're not teaching them that. Let me explain something. 
Oh, the families. You know why? Yes, they are. Because and a lot of black people. But listen, does that. let me tell you. And you know why? Rap music is designed to bring the black neighborhood down. But you're not answering let me question. explain something. If you're walking down the street with your pants hanging down and you're listening to rap, and this the rap is giving people the images, sell drugs, um, be a drug dealer. Exactly. That's why I don't. Li that's why I don't listen to rap. People think, oh, you don't listen to rap because you're a Christian. No. I literally, that's that could that's part of it. That's another reason why I don't listen to rap because y'all gotta realize that music, yes, it's an art, but all music has some type of spirit to it. You feel me? That's why I stopped reacting to music. It's certain music I just cannot react to. I used to react to all the hard metal and all that, but you gotta realize that every music has some type of spirit to it. You feel me? When you when you listen to certain songs and it makes you wanna it makes you wanna get up and do something that you're not supposed to do, you shouldn't be listening to that song. Half of these rap songs is motivating kids to go kill, steal, do this and do that, uh, speak on their dead ops and all this. Like, bro, I heard a little boy rap. I'm thinking this man finna go crazy with some rap, some lyrics. That man talking about putting somebody in a trunk, sending him out to somewhere. He was talking nonsense. It's because of the music they listen to. This whole drill music thing, bro. All it is is brainwashing these kids. And then they, and then they, uh, in the rap music, they talk about uh, how the police, after police do this. And they're like, it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's brainwashing kids to make they feel, to make them feel like, oh, this is what we have to do. This is what we need to do. You feel me? Like, this is, it's all in a rap. These kids listen to rap. They don't want to listen to no gospel. They don't want to listen to no, no love R&B. They don't want to listen to that. They don't want to listen to songs that got some type of good spirit to it. You think you listen to R&B. Not all R&B have a good spirit to it, but you listen to love R&B. You feel me? Some of that love songs, they have good spirits to it. Gospel, good spirits to it. But then you listen to all this gang in this bit, gang in this Oh, my mom, I kill your boy. I blow your house. Then you listen to all that, bro. All that nonsense, all that stupidity. That's all going to your ears. All going in your ears. Calling people so bitches and hoes, the rap in industry contributes to how blacks treat each other. But what about, let, let me finish. What about the black men who are dressed nicely, yes. driving in nice cars, yes. and are treated like criminals as if they stole the cars? Listen. That has nothing to do that with rap right. music. But, that I, has yes, to do with their, over. that has right. to do with their lives not mattering as much as other people's lives. Do you do you don't think white people get pulled over? Not and, as much. Right, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You might have a point there. I do Still, have a point. Most crime is is black on black. It's not we're cops not killing. About, we're not talking about it's not black. cops killing we're not black. We're talking about black on black crime. Right. We're talking well, about, about Black Lives Matter until you talk about that. Right. My man. No, you got we're it. talking about black people not being as safe when they go out when they're treated by the police and more and It's time for the black neighborhoods to start taking care of their own neighborhood. Amen. Amen, my brother. Amen. I mean, bro, you can't you can't argue this. It's funny. It's always funny to me how a white how a white person always trying to argue with a black person about black stuff. It, it definitely just be the funniest thing to me. How can you sit, sit here argue with a black man tell the black man how press the black community <laughs> Bro, you can't make this up. This you cannot make this up. She's sitting here arguing with a black man, telling them, "Well, what about the black people that do this? And what about the black people that do this?" Like, one of the problems with the black community is how we're perceived. So, look, when we're talking about rap. When we when when you compare it to the statistics, how forty percent of violent crimes are committed by young black men. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a perception. It is a perception. When we talk about when we, you go on the internet and we talk about selling drugs, pimping women, arm trafficking, fraud, and all these things, and people who don't live in black Which neighborhoods, from people, who don't, people who don't live in black neighborhoods, gentry neighborhoods. They don't, they, all they see is is what they know on the online. White House is and, and it's, it, is a per, it is a perception. Is cool. And when we hear. The black community created its own image. Okay, that that's that's point uh, straightforward to the point. The black community created its own image. The reason why black people feel like they're this and feel like they're that because of everything they put into their ears, everything that they see around them. The black community. I mean, the black community is so terrible. It's a lot of black neighborhoods in Chicago that's so bad, bro. It's so bad. You feel me? But it's not be it's not because of the white man. It's not because of the white people. It's not because it's because of the black people. It's because of the black people. And when we and when we hear police officers, forty percent of the police officers who were killed in the line of duty were killed by young black men. It is it is only reasonable. Sometimes, not saying this is bad. 
sometimes it is reasonable to, for a police officer to, to handle black men with a little bit more caution than it is for a, a five foot two Chinese man, for instance. Whether because they're because statistically they're not committing violent crimes. Statistically, they're not killing cops. Now, for instance, okay, so if if uh, if a police officer pull over an Arab in in Manhattan, right? Oh, let me just ask. Let me just put one. one, one okay, sure. Go ahead, go, okay, go ahead. Most of the uh, mass shootings in this country. When was the last one that was done by a black person? Uh, the the, the, the Dallas sniper. I'm talking mass shoot. I'm talking about mass shootings of innocent. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the police. I'm not saying that was a good thing. So, if we have all these mass shootings of people with guns killing children and killing innocent people, why aren't we more suspicious of white folks carrying around guns? Well, they are. I mean, look, white people. White. Well, white white people. The, no, the, the, the thing is, the thing is, we're when we're talking about black crime and white crime, we're talking about proportionality, right? No, no. So, 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 so here's the thing. So here's the thing, right? So I think it was about five thousand, five thousand, or uh, three thousand, five thousand. Are you talking about police killings or or, uh, or just white on white violence? I, I'm not talking about race. I'm talking okay. about people responsible for mass shootings in this country. But how many mass shootings occur as opposed as a, opposed to just killings on the streets of our cities. And what's the, what would you say the ratio of, say, a mass shooting to shooting in a neighborhood? Okay, well, I can't argue with right. you. You want to bang the gun? Saying, you want saying, to bang the gun? Right. You're saying you're oh, wanting to focus on these mass shootings and they're not being committed I, by black people, I'm but you want to ignore... I mean, I say if you want to argue with somebody or if you want to bring up Black Lives Matter or the black on black crimes or the white people or this and that, I'll say always bring your statistic. You always got to know numbers. You feel me? You always got to know... Even if you don't know numbers, just come with the facts. Come with the facts. I say that. Just come with the facts. But you can't argue. You can't argue against these three men right here because they're bringing facts to you. They're bringing seriously facts. You could talk about all the mass shootings and this and that. But, man, if you talk about all the killings that's happening on the streets, that's, that, that's more than the mass shootings. Let's be real. It's more killings. It's more killings in a black community than it is a white man going to a school shooting up shooting up a school. It. I'm telling you, it's way more killings on the streets. It's way more killings in the, and it and, ha, and like literally, I, I I'm not even gonna say 50 or 30. I'm not gonna say no percentage. I'm just gonna say half of the black community in the black community is literally a black man picking up a gun or a black one, whatever you want to say. Black, I just say black man, a black man picking up a gun in the black community, killing innocent people, killing innocent kids. Killing innocent, innocent black kids at that. You know what I'm saying? Killing, killing their other, their black brothers, their black sisters. I'm just saying, bro. It's it's way more kills on black on black crime. That's why I just don't sit and say Black Lives Matter. Black Lives. I don't sit and say that because Black Lives Matter don't don't uh don't matter to black lives. To black people lives don't matter to black people lives. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. God dang it. Ignore everything, all no, of that. I just want, as if it's more important. I just want a black person walking down the street to be treated the same way as a white person walking How long down the street. Have you been African American? Because you seem to know a lot more than these gentlemen about being black. Amen. <laughs> I've been saying the same thing, cuz. Yo. How long have you been African American? Because you seem to know a lot more than these gentlemen about being black. I, I live in a community with black and African American friends. So you have black friends? I do too. But are you going to say that black Absolutely. Depending, 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 on where you live. It depends 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 on where you live. It just depends. Right. So you're going to tell me that women don't hold their purses closer, or you don't lock your door when you're going through a black neighborhood? Do you do that when you're driving through a white neighborhood? Have you seen how I've been carrying my purse out here with a thousand people I don't know? I'm at, I'm at not as any more concerned around all these people I don't know of all these nationalities than I am anywhere else. But the thing is, but the thing is, I've been it's, walking around and people have been telling me I don't know what I've been talking about. But, all day. but the point is this: most crime is black on black. Right. It's black on black. It is a huge, it is a huge problem. It's not the cops. It's, it's the, the, it's, if we if we could reduce the, the, the main point is if we could reduce the amount of black on black crime and violent crime committed by blacks, it will reduce the perception of, of a threat when it comes down to when it comes down to how people are perceived, black people are perceived in America. And, that Mr. Trump cares about you. He's hired more black people than probably you have. Oh, oh, God. 
โอ้โอ้โอ้ she's quiet oh lord she's quiet oh lord she's quiet Latinos and more Muslims than anybody else has. But he insults them all the time. He insults by black people or Muslims, women. He's just very. He insults anybody who doesn't agree with him. What about all the money? Obama's killed more Muslims than Donald Trump has. Just, just, just. just. Well, we can't have a rational conversation. You know what? Yeah. Obama has killed more more Muslims than Donald Trump has. Extrajudicially. Extrajudicially, he has killed more Muslims. I, I didn't. I didn't argue. I didn't. I didn't argue. I didn't argue. Killed Osama bin Laden. Well, he, 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 he did. He got the Nobel Peace Prize. That was his credit. And then he ended up going to destroy Syria. And now he we're in a, Syria? Oh yeah, yes. Him. He, oh, how did yes. he destroy Syria? The limited airstrikes that Vladimir Putin told him not to not to do. China said, hey, you know. Do you like and, Putin? I I don't. Well. There are things that I do like about Putin. He doesn't like to go and invade countries and destabilize them. Like what? One of the things he's one of the things I like about Putin is the fact that he he understands that the Western Western presidents historically, at least uh, from Bush, from Clinton all the way to Bush, we have been we have been toppling a lot of dictators that are democratically elected. The the mullahs, uh, I mean the the uh, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood that was put into power after after uh, <laughs> after the military coup. That was another one that uh, uh, that uh, Vladimir Putin warned against, and we did it anyways. And then now this whole invade and invite go, series. Because I don't want to listen to this anymore. But okay, I'm just well, going mean, to say, let me just tell you. They never want to listen to it when you're speaking facts. They never want to listen to it when you're speaking facts. You know what I'm saying? You was already in a row for telling a black person about black people. Like, I mean, seriously, you cannot sit up there and tell another black person what it is like being black. And they're black. I <laughs> You was already in the room from right there, from from the beginning. Now all of a sudden, y'all want to listen to it because he's speaking facts and dropping gems on you. Sometimes y'all, some look the liberals, y'all gotta open up y'all heart. Sometimes open up y'all heart to the truth, accept the truth. Look, y'all listen to what sounds good. You feel me? Y'all, a, a lot of a lot of a lot of the left, they want to listen to what sounds good. But trust and believe me, what sounds good ain't always good. But I'm telling you, the truth sometimes hurts. Okay, when you hear the truth and somebody speaking the truth and they go statistically, they do all that. They bring out numbers. They bring out evidence when they speak in the truth. Y'all don't want to accept the truth because y'all can't believe what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't believe what it really is. It's hard to believe what it really is and what it truly is. It's hard to. So y'all go by your own understanding. Y'all y'all listen to what sounds good. Y'all listen. Y'all y'all get the black president in there because we never had a black president before. Yeah, y'all listen to what sounds good, like 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 y'all voted for Biden. Yeah, but we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that. But I'm just saying, I will be really glad. That's why y'all didn't like Trump, cause Trump was speaking truth, and y'all it's hard for y'all to accept the truth. So Trump was a racist because he was speaking the facts. That's that's what it was. When you guys are all done and you leave. And Ohio can go ahead and vote against Trump because he's going to lose here. And nobody wins the presidency without winning Ohio. That's fine. He will lose here. Take that jacket off. Take it easy. Hug, hug a black guy for me. Hug, hug a black guy for me. You want a hug? Sure, of course. I'll give you a hug. There you go. You take, you take hugs? What was the point of that comment? I just said hug a black guy for me. What were you trying to because, communicate? Because, because it seems like you have this warped perception on how black people are treated. I know what I hear from and, and people I, and, I know who are black. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you one of the most. I live in a neighborhood that's 70% black, and this is what I hear from and my I friends. And I did too. I, look, I, what I, do I, your I, friends say? Okay, so I lived in, in Eastside San Jose, which, which is predominantly black and Mexican. And one of the worst things that happened in Eastside San Jose were the police officers, if you know Mayor Licata, the police officers stopped patrolling. Uh, the, the, the neighborhood in which I lived in. You didn't answer my question. I asked, what, you what my friend, what my, I asked you specifically what you were implying when you asked me to but go you asked me, a black you, asked, you never answered that. Because were seems, you implying seems, I don't understand? Like, it seems like your, your, your compassion could be translated in a different way other no. than speaking about black problems, which you probably have no idea. Well, <laughs> I know what list. I'm told by people I know. So you may represent 
talking about, I don't represent all white people, all Jewish people. You don't represent all black people. Absolutely. I'm telling you what I hear from the black community in my neighborhood, and it's very different than yours. I don't pretend to speak for the black community. But I don't agree with what you're saying, and it's not what I'm hearing from people I know. So you can have Very your opinion, but your comment to me to go hug a black person seemed kind of snide and belittling. So that I'm was sorry. not nice. Apology on my behalf. You enjoy your day. But she hugged the black Good person. Job, man. Good job. <laughs> Why are you gonna be so huh? Oh man, that video. I I ain't gonna lie. I enjoyed that video. I love enjoying when when a liberal don't know what they're talking about. They they want to argue with a black person on what it's like being black when they're white. I mean, literally, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I truly love it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. Me personally, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, the video is amazing. I enjoy watching. This video is six years old, too. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't catch, this, catch on to this like earlier. But this video was six years old. So, you know, obviously... They was Barack and uh, Trump's going to lose it. All a whole, a whole bunch of nonsense. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation in the comment section below. The black on black crime, that junk is serious. That literally, that's more than the killings that white people, white police officers uh, do towards black people. Seriously. I mean, black on black crime is way, way more than a white person picking up a gun and killing us. I'm telling you. Y'all can look it all up. And I'm pretty sure half of my uh, half of my supporters, half of my uh, half, of, you know, y'all my family. So I'm pretty sure y'all agree with me. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? What I'm gonna do is me your boy the pen. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless, stay blessed, peace.